Hey folks, good to have you with us for another edition of UFC Ultimate Insider. I'm John Ann. The martial arts have long proven powerful in their ability to help students overcome tragedy. And unfortunately, that is the reality for Josh Saman, a UFC middleweight of extraordinary talents who notched what many consider the knockout of the year in 2014. But that moment of triumph followed a season of grief as Saman battled a burden no man should have to bear. One word to describe my life from 16 years old to 27. Um, roller coaster. I have memories that each and every place here in Tallahassee, I lived here for so long. Every square inch of this town has some sort of symbolic meaning to me, whether good or bad. But man, I always enjoy coming back to Tallahassee for sure. I grew up with a single mother. I largely raised myself for my later teenage years, and I moved out of my mom's house at an, at an early age and kind of made for an unconventional lifestyle growing up compared to a lot of my friends. I dropped out of high school when I was 16, moved out, and, uh, and I found mixed martial arts. When I walked into that gym when I was 16 years old, I learned everything all at once. Obviously, I had things that I took to more than others. I liked jujitsu and I liked to strike a lot, and I didn't take to wrestling a whole lot. I tried out for the Ultimate Fighter for the first time, and uh, in a freak accident nice. during that tryouts, tore nice. my right leg apart, got a, a extremely bad blood clot, almost lost my leg. I recovered from that, went on to go have two more Ultimate Fighter tryouts, which I failed at both of those. Just knew that I couldn't stop until I got to the UFC and got some wins under my belt. I mean, with each and every injury that happened, it almost increased my determination because if I quit then, what kind of example would that set to anybody that's looking up to me at that point? Fighting out of Tallahassee, Florida, Josh Samad! A lot of people see a lot of promise in this kid. Finally, I did make it on the Ultimate Fighter on season 17. Everything was right. I was fighting in the UFC after all those years of, of struggle. Josh Saman! Right around the same time, I began dating Haley. I was dead set on spending the rest of my life with this girl, and that's what I thought I was going to do from the moment I met her. That's what I told her and everybody else that that's what I was going to do. Finally, my life was all coming together, and, and I felt like all my dreams had really come true. And then it all started to fall apart. And obviously, it started with Haley's passing. I always had speculated that it was her and I texting that was the cause of the accident. Uh, whether that was the case or not, the, the time between the first responder on the accident and the last text that she sent me was remarkably close. Um, so I, I don't know that, I'm not sure that it could lead to any other conclusion than that. Months after that was just the worst time of my life. I was in such a deep, dark hole that, that I wasn't sure I would ever make it out. So I'm trying to remember just where it all began. Just when I let you into my life again And I'm always holding on too long Shortly after that, my mom's husband, Jeff, died And then Haley's mom, Sue, died And it was just one thing after another Where I really didn't know if it was ever going to end Training camp and getting ready for a fight is what I knew I could rely on and so that's what originally brought me out of the darkness, was knowing that I had light at the end of the tunnel, knowing that there was that octagon waiting for me with an opponent on the other side of me that was going to be my canvas for all the things that I had been through. Josh getting really amped up for one of the toughest tests of his career. Leading up to the week before December 6th, it was just unreal. I knew as soon as I got off the plane that I was there, I was on, I was on a mission, I had a goal, I wasn't leaving without completing that goal. Good. Here we go! There was no doubt in my mind that I was leaving a winner. You can have a good announcement with Joe. They it out! It oh. is all over! Oh just my like goodness! Oh my goodness! Out of nowhere! That was my finest.
darkest hour of my whole life, of all 26 years at the time. It was an element of closure that, that I couldn't have had in any other way. I'm still not completely behind the mantra that everything happens for a reason, but I've learned to just trust the journey because at the end of the day, we don't really have any choice but to. I knew as long as I didn't give up and just stayed in the fight that there would be a way to succeed. And I had so many moments of self-doubt and uncertainty since the last time I was in the cage. This is for Haley and Sue and Jeff and my mom and everybody in Tallahassee, 850. I love you guys. You're my heart. Thank you for so much. I'm not comfortable with the title of role model, but I do know that there are some things that people can learn from me. The more of my story that I get out, the more I think that could help people.